Hey everybody, the Reese Wirrell here, and welcome to Spyro Year of the Dragon. Okay, I just wanted to do that to make sure it didn't... Uh, yes I do. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that it didn't go into demo mode, because this game doesn't take long to go into demo mode. New game! Ooh, an icon. Spyro, Sparks, Hunter, Moneybags, Zoe, or a Rhinoc. Okay, I'll go with Spyro. I think when I was a kid, I thought that was who you played as. Like, the, the icon you chose. I'm pretty sure I thought that was the character you played as. <laughs> pretty stupid, really. Alright, hopefully I don't run into any issues. I didn't record this game at all yesterday because I encountered a few lag issues. And upon more investigation, even if I had done it on my PSP, I would have run into the same lag issues because, I don't know, this game's, like, I guess this game is just really poorly done. Like, the port is really bad. The PSN Classic lags more than the disc version which I'm using. And on the PSP version, there's no way of changing that, whereas on this, you're able to change what emulator it uses. And instead of using the emulator it uses for PSN games, or PS1 Classics, I'm just using for what it would be using for an actual disc. It seems to work better. But that it also might have its own issues, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, Hunter, you clumsy fucking get. <gasps> she got away with the egg. But I've watched this so many times. Just from trying to get the issue working. But never mind. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Wow. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. And there's Zoe. Can she actually talk? I know she can in the game, but does she actually talk in the cutscenes or not? I can't remember. Where are the eggs? The holes came out oh, of no, the other does. side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go. Oh. And there we are. Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. You got it. Wow, stylish. Is that the portal that led to dragon shells? I think it may have been. There we go. And so our adventure begins. Right, my first order of business is to get 300 gems. Because the first level I'm going to do is not the one in that portal there. It's the one that's that house over there. Which is Sheila. The kangaroo. The reason I want to do her level first is because once I have her unlocked, and I'm pretty sure once I've done her level, I'm able to use her in other levels, such as that level straight up there, and a few of them in this area. Now that's not going to be the case with every level, because some characters I don't have unlocked, and won't have unlocked until the second, oops, until the second slash third world, but I'm not sure, we'll just have to wait and see. Because I want to 100% this game as well, seeing as I 100%ed the second and the first game. So it would be quite nice. Well, 100%ed in terms of getting gems and talismans, not in terms of getting skill points, because they aren't even a collectible, they're just something you can get. I guess they are kind of. Hi, Spyro. To look left or right, press the L2 or R2 buttons. To quickly center the camera behind you, press the L1 or R1 button. You can look all around by holding the triangle button down. Okay. Oh, that's one thing I actually want to change. If I go into options and then general, change the camera to active. I didn't actually want to save the game. Sorry. There we go. Now it, and now it follows me. Did I seriously miss a gem? 
Oh, no. It was the corner. You bastard. Alright, I think this is where we we have a meeting with the villain. Or villain. So you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Whoa. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. What the fuck? The subtitles with her are, are like messed up a little bit. Yeah, like cut off the subtitles before she'd finished. Or before it had put up all the dialogue she said. Really dumb. I just realised as well. There's a life up there. Yeah, here's Moneybags who wants the money to free Sheila. But you need 300 if I remember correctly. I'll do that shit with Hunter in a minute. Like once I've gotten most of the gems, I think. <laughs> I'd like to actually get some of them on my way there, my th my way through. I like how he just like warps all over the place. Like he's ahead of me there, and he's also behind me to give me. I think it's a like little tutorial on how to glide and stuff. All the kind of stuff that I already know. I wow, completely missed. And there's another egg. Is this the one that cries? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. But I will warn that this game does have some uh, slight lagging issues. It, as I've said, it's just to do with the game, like the PSN version. Oh. Do you like the active camera mode? If not, I can set it back to the passive mode. No, I like it. No. Okay, I won't change it. Remember, you can change the camera mode yourself by using the options menu. I know, that's how I changed it. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Aw, oh, poor Hunter. Maybe you forget it, you can dive underwater by pressing square on the surface of the water and charge underwater by holding down the square button. I didn't mean to skip his dialogue, but oops. My bad. And these signposts are for sparks, which you can do once you have finished a world. Like, once you've finished here, defeated the boss, and gone to the second place, I'm pretty sure you can come back and do Sparks' levels. Which is cool. Oh, fuck. I'm still not sure what kind of controls I want to use, because I'm used to playing the Spyro games on PSP, which doesn't have access to an analog stick. <clears throat> They don't have access to an analog stick you can use, like for controlling the character. Like the analog stick on the PSP is used for the um, L1 and R1 buttons, which I suppose you could just set it up differently, but it wouldn't work very well, I'm, I'm almost certain. That's why I wish this game played better on PS3. It plays just as badly or well on the PSP, but still. I wish there was no issues. It got kind of annoying though because I put off recording for several hours yesterday because of the issue. It's really quite dumb when you think about it. It's like the issue has been there in every version of the game so I don't know why I was so bothered by it. I think I may have actually gotten all the gems here. found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump, then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Just follow me. Alright, lead the way. And weird thing is, I thought when I was younger that if you went over here you would not be able to get up there, but you can. You just have to charge jump. Probably not even that. And now he'll jump back across. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Or do a charge jump and then glide. Like so. Much better. Oh, I almost
almost forgot. I found this egg. <gasps> Did you? No way. I might have actually gotten all the eggs too. Coal train. As I say, I might have. I don't actually know if I have. What happens if I press select then? Does that bring up the atlas? Ah, it does. Fly through the cave. Yeah, I've nearly done this place already. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Ba -ba -ba -da. I don't really want... Oh, I don't want you to talk to me. Power up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. I know. I've played this game before. And I've played the other Spyro games. I guess that's why they have the tutorials in place. For if you haven't played the others in the series, and this was the first game you started to play. I can understand it, it's just kind of annoying when you do actually know what you're doing. I get the feeling this is the rest of the gems. He... Oh no. It's the dreaded one gem missing. Curse. Oh, please say this is going to let me get to the end. Ah! Uh, in all fairness, the gem I missed is probably one that's in the forest. I didn't really want to do that, but whatever. Amy! Hi. Fook. So there's one singular gem I've missed. Oh, that is the worst. Oh, it's there. How did I miss that one? I think it's because I focused on getting to the basket that was next to the wall. Hi, money bags, you prick. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. Since I. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. Oh, does she? I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Of course. 300 gems. Sure. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Yeah, it is. Moneybags is a douche. A money-hungry douche. No hard feelings. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Great. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, name Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying <laughs> ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Okay. He's just like, what? Then the adventure continues. Oh, don't worry. I won't remove my memory card because I'm not using one. It's like a fake memory card. It's like... The PS3 creates a file that acts as if it's a physical memory card. It's pretty cool. Yay, I have a hundred... And he said gold. A hundred gems. So the entire first part of this series was probably just collecting Let's gems and up. eggs. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Oh no. I also thought the game was like messing up here. Hi, Sheila. While you are gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Why are you? Yeah, I thought the game was broken because the, the music seemed to be like way too 
slow, I guess. It's weird. I think if I just press L1, it, it jumps behind me as well. It does. Whee! That was a pointless thing to do. Yeah, Sheila has a double jump. 